Do you want to go on an adventure today? So fall is upon us. You know what that means, right? It means persistent allergies <laughs> and an adventure to the great outdoors because we're about to customize fall leaves. So with that being said, let this adventure begin. But first, let's just get these little slippers, okay? back outside. Let's take you out there, okay? Yeah, we'll give you a home outside. <laughs> it jumped, it jumped. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? <gasps> I think it's on me. I think we got a lot of really nice leaves out here, so let's go back to the studio. Okay, we got some really good leaves when we were outside. Look at this one, it's huge. <laughs> and this little buddy is still wet, so we'll let him dry. It's a little wet outside, but you know. When inspiration strikes, you just gotta go for it. All right guys, so we have quite the array of leaves and we're just gonna get started. Not with this guy though, because as I said, uh, he's gonna take his time evaporating the stuff that's on him. But I really like this leaf, so let's see what we can do. Y'all ready for a giant Posca shake? Mountains of Poscas right here. Okay, so this one I'm feeling nautical. So let's see what we can do with a nautical leaf. I wonder how these will work on leaves. Whoa, not what I expected. It feels so smooth, guys, <laughs> like wicked. All right, this is actually <laughs> more challenging than I thought. The leaf is very small and feels fragile. Therefore, I have like fear within me right now. Stop it. We can roll with this. We can roll with this. By the way, Posca pens do not soak in the leaves. I was gonna do a sky. It's gonna be nighttime on this leaf, okay? The night sky will be the brownish, greenish leaf. This here is the ocean, by the way. Yeah, that's gonna take forever to dry. <laughs> Okay, so we need to do a boat now. I don't even know if brown is gonna show up on this leaf though. We'll see. We might have to add, ooh, I have an idea. It's gonna be a sailboat riding the waves. But we gotta make the brown lighter first. So this is what we're doing. Ooh, this actually worked perfectly. All right, now, do we have black anywhere? I thought I did just like last week, right? Found it. See what we can do. Oh my goodness, this is actually harder than I thought it would be. This is also like not a very proportional sailboat. See that? But artistic liberties. Okay, what can we do to make this pop? Ooh, I have an idea. My goodness, this is not going great. We'll just fix that once stuff dries. Okay, I kind of want to do some like waves up in the foreground. Like, really curly, cute ones like this. Now, I think I want to do like a yellow moon up in the sky. 
I've about had it with this leaf. I'm about ready to move on to another one. Uh, I just, I need to get through the awkward phase, you know? Gotta be kind to yourself though. Be kind to your art. Oh, the stars are cute. Uh, I messed that one up. It's a big star right there. It's the North Star. All right, so far so good. Let's touch it up though. We just gotta fix some stuff. That's what I'm saying. Just realized I have like this little handle to hold on to the leaf. So I could have been doing that to make it stay in place. This is what he turned out to be though. All right, we have this cute yellow one. We have this cute yellow one. Y'all can tell I have a maple tree out in my front yard, can't ya? Oh, we have this cute red one. What if we did a Zentangle on this? Okay, Zentangle leaf time, here we go. I think it shows up really beautifully, so let's keep going. Now this is therapeutic. If you want a fun drawing idea, a Zentangle on a leaf is pretty cool. Now I did forget to mention this at the beginning of the video, but I'm doing this more for like the experience instead of the preservation aspect. So, uh, just throw on that out there. I don't really care to preserve these. I just want to have fun. So yeah, I hope that it inspires you guys to want to also have fun and do something similar. That's all. Oh, this turned out really cool. It's pretty simple for a Zentangle, but I mean, it's a leaf, what do you expect? I still think this is a lot harder than I anticipated it being. There's a lot of factors that go into this, like the veins make it bumpy, the leaves don't absorb stuff really. It's a slipperier surface and it's also really small, so. Now I'm not saying those things as if like this is horrible, I'm saying that like this is a fun, unexpected challenge and I think I just judged it too much from the start and thought it would be easy, but sometimes you get caught off guard. All right, I wanna do this yellow guy. I think I wanna try to do some sort of weird moth. Keep it simple, but weird. <sighs> I just ripped it. Now the wings. <laughs> We'll see what we can do here. So I'd be lying if I said this one was easy. <laughs> it was pretty challenging. Maybe I'll do some really cool stuff on that. I can't stop now. Just kidding. I have an idea. Okay, I have a bit of a shameful obsession with this gold marker. Let's just uh, see what we can do with it. Do some speckles. Ooh, I should make this spot on the bottom gold. Oh, that just made this like 10 times cooler. I'll do some like gold spots on the back too. Ooh, now I wanna add some interest to this because you know how I did a moon on the other one? Wouldn't it be cool to do it again? The answer is yes. This little leaf is like disintegrating as I color on it. What a stinking cutie though, right? Look at that moth. <laughs> I think this is my favorite one so far, but maybe we'll have to do one more. All right, so I have this giant wonky leaf and I really don't know what I wanna do to it. Wouldn't it be funny if I drew fall stuff on some fall stuff? This is tough. This leaf is like 
Yo, I'm not gonna lay flat. <laughs> okay, there we go. Yeah, you see this little guy? Mm -hmm. I'm doing like a fall collage of sorts. I'm gonna actually draw some maple leaves on this leaf just to be like silly. Wow, this is tough. Tough luck, dude, you already started it, so finish it. My fall leaf with fall leaves on it. What do you think of that? And this little guy is like, I'm still waving at you. Loki, wanna scrap this one? <laughs> it's not going well. I feel like I've said that about all of these, but hey. Uh, I'm just gonna scrap this one because I'm over it. I'm not enjoying coloring on this leaf because it keeps, you know, it's just you know, moving on. Okay, I'm taking this one here. And we're gonna do something sweet with it, I hope. Hopefully this is my coolest leaf yet. We are drawing an eye and I'm really excited. I should have used like acrylic gouache for these, but you know, I committed to my Poscas. So I guess if you guys want to see an acrylic gouache version of this or something or acrylic paint, yeah, let me know. Hey guys, what's up? This is me, right here. If you have anything mean to say about it, uh, leave me alone. <laughs> I just had to put that pun in there. You ever have just one of those experiences where you think it will be easy and then you're like, wow, that was interesting. Well, that was, that was what I experienced today in this video. <laughs> I really thought this would be easier and it took me off guard. I mean, like, I don't know, just kind of hard to customize this one. Now, this one on the other hand, this one was easy and fun to customize. I really enjoyed doing like a little zen tangle on this. I think in my mind, I sort of assumed I would do this like huge intricate art project with these leaves, but in reality, they are just that, leaves. <laughs> and so I think this is just more for fun. So if you wanna see a big realistic water painting or, you know, customizing shoes or something big, just come back for a different video. You'll get it soon. <laughs> okay, by the way, by the time you guys see this, I am launching new washi tapes today. So if you see this, all these new tapes are available now. We have Autumn Forest right here. Then we have these really cute little pumpkins, some rainbows and earth flowers, some peonies, and these little potions. These are called bottle buds. So if you guys are interested in my new washi tapes, they are now available at mirabiler.com. All right, I love you guys. Have a good day. Bye.